guys, my name is Crystal. The um, other video I, I was doing cut off while I was speaking. Alexa, what's the time, please? The time is 9.24 a.m. My mum phoned earlier on and um, she's obviously left a message, so I'll listen to that after I've uploaded this video. What I was trying to say is I was brought up to respect other people. I was brought up to... You know, be polite, say sorry when I've done something wrong and be polite. And unfortunately, the world as it is today, and also when I was a kid, um, you know, people don't respect you. So you'll, you'll respect them, you'll apologise to someone when they get in the way, while somebody else will just shove you and push past you and not say sorry. And it's very hard to carry on being a nice person that's trying to uncover child abuse and paedophile rings and help other people when you are being shoved, pushed and called really nasty names and I don't smell. I had a shower before I went to the hospital. I washed my hair and had a shower and I didn't go to, round to my mum's afterwards. And my mum has a bath, she's just older than me, she's 76. And some kind of sick pervert, right, obviously calling me a lesbian and I'm going round to visit my mother today because they're jealous of me visiting my mum. They're jealous of me visiting my mum so they are making suggestions that me and my mother are lesbians. I mean, it's absolutely outrageous, their jealousy, their hatred, their jealousy. I can't speak to anybody. If I speak to my mum, it's some kind of lesbian relationship, talking to my mother, trying to put me off going round to see my mum because they're sick in the head. I mean, it's ridiculous. If I talk to my son, that's wrong. If I, if, I'm trying to, if I take my dog out for a walk, they let their dogs off and they chase Max. I mean, it's jealousy. I can't stay in my flat like a prison. I, I, you know, I need, everybody needs to get air, interact with other people. This is a sick, really sick individual or individuals that will not let me alone. Um, I walked into the hospital, the main entrance yesterday, and there was people everywhere. It was bloody jam-packed. There was, like, wheelchairs, old men hobbling around with sticks, and I had to dodge everybody. There was people, like, everywhere. And they weren't nice. None of them were smiling. You know, they was looking at me with disdain, like they was going to clobber me one. And I'm, all I'm doing is trying to get to my appointment. And I'm smiling and I'm, you know, tr slowly making my way to gynecology through about 50 people or more coming in all directions. And I'm not mad. I'm not nuts. I've, I've got no mental health illness. It's my mum that was diagnosed with schizophrenia. So I goes into gynaecology, the lady at the desk doesn't even know I'm arriving, she doesn't know who I am, tells me to sit down and of course I'm upset. They should have had the file ready, they should have said oh yes, yes, and normally they do but this time they didn't. Because this was arranged over the phone by Dr Habib's secretary, there was no letter, there was no paperwork that I could show them. Um, they were playing Jennifer Lopez. They had a radio on in gynaecology, like a little cassette player thing, like from the 80s. And it was playing on the radio, Jennifer Lopez. And you know, Jennifer is my mother's name. This guy is calling me a lesbian on um, Facebook dating because Sandy Toxvick is a lesbian. And I'm going... My mum had asked me to go and round and see her. And that put me right off. I, you know, I'm glad I had a taxi home. It's 
the same when my father was at the William Harvey Hospital. My father, Derek, had a heart attack in 2013 at Victoria Road. And I wasn't there with my dad. My dad had called 999 himself upstairs in his bedroom. And he was first of all taken to the Medway Maritime Hospital and then transferred by ambulance as emergency to the William Harvey Hospital in Ashford. He'd had a massive coronary heart attack. And um, I, went, I went to visit my father. I went to visit my father in the William Harvey Hospital. I went to visit him and he had his mouth wide open and, and he was in an in, induced coma. And he had no pants on. He was, they hadn't bothered to put a pair of underpants on him. And they were sticking things in his ear. Derek, Derek, I'm just going to give you some centipods. And you couldn't hear a word they were saying. Derek, I'm going to give you some syrup of figs. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't happy with the way my, my father was being spoken to or treated, but my mum was sat there, so I didn't complain about it. Um, so we were, it's all, we were all treated like we're third-class citizens, my mum, my dad and myself. And this morning I've got te <coughs> texted by a Wayne of Facebook dating, XXX, hello sexy. Well, I don't feel sexy. What is this XXX? What is it? What does that mean? X, Alexa... What does three X's mean? X, X, X. Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. Alexa, what do the initials X, X, X stand for? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, X, X is the Roman numerals for 20. Well, X, X, X would be 30. We're talking about triple hardcore porn here, because that's what XXX stands for in porn. Hardcore porn. XXX sexy. I've got large breasts. That's not funny. And yesterday was supposed to be a scan of my vagina, not hardcore porn. There were men in gynaecology, there was workmen, I told you that man came in, he had something wrong with his bottom. It all looked very funny, didn't it? And Dr Habib's secretary wants me to go up again Tuesday, next Tuesday, to go for a repeat performance. I mean, really... I respect people that respect me. If someone doesn't respect me, I don't respect them, but I will ignore them. I'm, I'm not going to get angry. I'm not going to get upset. And I don't go around the streets of Rochester with half my clothes on either. Look how I'm dressed. This is how I walk my dog with a coat and boots on, right? Some idiot called me the bike of Rochester. The bike of Rochester. I'm 54. I laugh my fucking head off. I thought that was so hilarious. I have not had a relationship or, you know, physical sexual contact for years. The bike of Rochester. It's all in their heads. They're a stalker. They're jealous and they're not well and someone needs to stop them before they do something dangerous to me. I mean, I don't mind messages, but you've heard of stalkers, stalkers murdering people, haven't you? Stalkers, insane stalkers, stalking an ex-partner, stalking even TV celebrities, you know, not letting them breathe. Because they're insane, they're mad. XXX is hardcore porn.
And that's why I've got texted this morning. XXX morning sexy. Do you feel sexy with period pain? Do you feel sexy stuck in your flat hiding from a stalker 24-7? No. No one does anything. They never will either because it's all covered up. Just texting someone on WhatsApp. Just texting someone on WhatsApp. <laughs> right. Basically, it's a good thing I've got a mum who can help me, but she won't always be around. As I, I won't always be around to help my children, who are now adults. So, you know, you have to learn to cope by yourself, and normally I do, unless somebody makes it hard for me to cope by myself by doing stuff. Right, guys, I'm going to get on with the rest of my day. Um... Someone needs to stop this stalker, and I mean it, they're sick, they're really ill, they're in my dating site. These are fake profiles with the same person texting, I can't date anybody, I can't have any freedom until this person is found and stopped. See you later. Or persons. <laughs>